Guys, we've got another exciting one here, the Vizio XS808, and then the 809, obviously, as you guys know, is the Mavic clone, so this is the DJI Phantom 4 clone. This is the toy version of it, again, don't expect DJI quality. There's no GPS, there's none of that, you know, return to home type uh, features. This is a toy that looks like the Phantom 4, so before you get into all the comments on there, like I said on the last one, uh, this is just going to be for the visual aesthetics like a DJI Phantom four so really really cool design on it you can see um, it's got that wide kind of body design just like the Phantom 4 does if you haven't seen the the uh, other video check it out I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to pick up the Mavic clone great flyer um, just really cool uh, collapsible design like the Mavic so this is their other version that they've cloned of the Phantom 4 so as you can see here it looks really cool um, I think if you draw a couple little black dots right there it'll really look like it um, but pretty cool. We've got our transmitter here, um, the same exact thing as the other Vizio quadcopter. This is a Wi-Fi FPV, um, so you're going to be able to do Wi-Fi FPV, line up your shot. Uh, again, don't expect any fancy video quality. This is just a toy. This is for fun. Um, and if you want to have a little Phantom 4 uh, clone, uh, that's going to have that's going to have that design for you. So that's why I, um, you know, I asked for this one. I think it's pretty cool, little design um, to have that. So on the transmitter to lay that out for you, pretty straightforward. Um, so these buttons here, as far as photo and video, are going to be for other models that have an SD card built in. This one has a slot on the back of the camera, but it does not accept an SD card. Your recording are going to save onto your phone which sits right in this opening here so these are pretty much uh, non working but they do turn the lights on and off you do have uh, a one key return and headless mode if you lose orientation and then you do have there, there is the takeoff and land on this one like the other one didn't have because this is an altitude hold quad top you can see the stick um, centers out every time so that will have the takeoff and land and stopping our motors as well which I believe this is going to be some trim we've got our flip button which then you give direction and then you've got our rates button here on the side so we should have three rates and then of course our flip um, so pretty nice little transmitter so let's go ahead and uh, jump right into the flight okay so this is the XSW app this is the same app that you're going to use with the other quadcopter as well um, so this is going to give you FPV feed right here and then of course your transmitter you can you can fly and, and see what you're flying so um, we're going to go ahead and start the recording here by pressing the record button and then we'll go ahead and take this thing up so you can reset the gyros by pressing both sticks down into the out and then down into the middle we'll turn on the motors or you can do the automatic takeoff and land so we're going to use the automatic takeoff so let's go ahead and press that and then it should take itself up and there we go so we've got a little bit of a breeze to my back right now so do keep that in mind that will cause it to float a little bit See if we can trim it out just a little bit here. All right. So very smooth, stable hover. Nice and stable. We've got green LEDs on the front and red on the back, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and test our roll. And we're going to test our pitch that's all in low rate and let's go ahead and put it up to mid rate whoa that was the flip button let's bring it back and we're going to bring it up to mid rate so two beeps for mid rate and you can see it's gotten a lot sportier let's check out the yaw on mid rate not too bad and high rate oh yeah much more aggressive this way much more sportier, much more peppier, my, my type of flying. So let's see how this thing flies. So we're just going to take it around a little bit here and see how this toy version of a DJI Phantom 4 flies. Again, there's no GPS, no super HD video here, guys. This is just for fun, a nice novelty. It really does look like a little DJI sitting up there. I think of, of all the clones, I think this is probably one of the best because that the, uh, the body is really wide like the Phantom 4 is. It really has that little look to it. If it was far away, you probably wouldn't know. 
except for the motors of course it sounds like a brushed motor that does have a 650 milliamp lipo battery we should see about uh, seven minutes of flight time so we'll see but i'm fairly impressed so far it's got a nice good little pitch to it it's a nice little camera bird nice and sporty let's try out the flips so one press and forward nice and tight flip backwards good flip side flips good flips and let's go ahead and i'm gonna i'm gonna do this a little bit of fpv here so i want you to take a look at uh to take a look at the screen here i'm gonna try to do a little fpv and let's see how this is compared to the other dji clone uh there's definitely uh this one doesn't this one's got a little bit more latency than the other uh dji clone has that's a little unfortunate but that's going to be helpful for lining up the shot so i wouldn't say you're going to be able to do straight fpv with this i'm watch watch my if myself prove myself wrong here now i'm trying fpv no the latency is definitely too slow to do any fpv but but it's nice because you can line up the shot so let's go ahead and take it up And let's see if we just get some little shots here. Of course, all the any of the latency is all going to be recorded onto the video footage. So if it has any video footage, it's going to be uh, all that latency will show. So keep that in mind. And you know that's about as high as I like to fly a toy grade quad. So let's see after doing a little bit of flying if that one key return works. So let's try it. Oh, you know that was headless mode. Let's try the one key return. Yeah, so it works. It still kept its orientation from where you took off. And the headless mode, let's try the headless mode. If we spin the quad, back is always back, left is always left, right is always right, forward is always forward, that works well. All right, let's go ahead and bring it in for a landing. I want to try the uh, Wi-Fi flying of this uh, quadcopter. So let's try the one button landing. Perfect. Okay, we've got the quadcopter hooked up to the Wi-Fi and we've got the app ready to go. So let's see if we're bound here. And we've got to turn on our altitude hold, which I believe should be that button there. Yep, and now you can see that our stick has centered on both on the app, so you'll want to make sure you turn that on and turn that on for your altitude hold. I'm going to go ahead and bump the rates to 100% since it is a little windy out, and let's go ahead and do our one, key, one button takeoff. So there you go. We've taken off with it. I'm not a huge fan of flying with the cell phone, but we're going to see how this thing works. So It's a little interesting. Bring it back here, pitch it forward. Yeah, I definitely say if you're gonna fly this outside, you probably wanna keep this in 100% if you're gonna fly it with the phone. It's, it's, it's definitely a bit interesting, but it's, uh, it's working, it's not bad. You know what I think would be easier flying would be using the gyro setting on the phone so let me go ahead and land this real quick and let's try that one I already... okay so if we want to jump into the gyro setting so what you're going to do is you're going to go and press that and now see it's going to use the 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 access or g's access or however you call it in the phone so let's go ahead and do the takeoff again and Please. The wiener dogs. <laughs> hey, puppy. Hi. Okay, so sorry about that. Dog, neighbor dog came over, run over here. All right, so you can see here that that's working. So let's go ahead and do the takeoff. And then you just use your phone. So see, give it a little bit more throttle here. Oh, yeah, this, I would say if you're going to fly it with your phone, this is, uh, this is a, much, a much easier way to control the pitch and roll. 
Oh wow, it's actually really, really responsive and peppy this way. Obviously, now this is interesting. So I'm just, I'm looking at the screen while I'm doing this and the Wi-Fi latency is not bad at all. So that's really odd, but check that out. So you can fly, you can raise the throttle. Well, I think we might've been running out of battery there, but that works pretty cool. So you use your phone to pitch and roll um, very nicely right there. So let's go ahead and pick it up. Give you some final thoughts on this guy. So the uh, DJI Phantom 4 clone, the Tanki 8 W808, I believe it is. Anyways, I'll have a link in the description as always if you guys want to pick it up. Uh, it was provided by Gearbest, of course. And uh, really cool design on it. I like it. Um, it's a fun little flyer. I definitely am more of a stick guy. I like flying this with the transmitter for sure. Um, but you can definitely do it with a phone. So that was kind of nifty and that does work the same way with the other quadcopter too. So again, I'll have a link in the description for everything um, below if you guys want to pick it up. But uh, if you want to have a nice little novelty DJI Phantom 4 clone, uh, check it out. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching as always. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one and happy flying life.